Hello everybody, welcome to Bragg's Loft. I hope you enjoy the video. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys uh, had a great uh, few days here. Um, I've ended up with COVID, so I've been kind of sick here, so <laughs> my ducks are making all kinds of racket for you, so um, I really hope you guys kind of enjoyed the video today. Uh, if I sound kind of hoarse, it's because I've been sick. I ended up with COVID and stuff, so I've been trying to get things done here around here, but uh, it's kind of hard when you don't feel good, so. But I want to say thank you to all the subscribers out there for coming to the channel and uh, all the new people that keep coming to the channel too, so uh, you have no idea how much you appreciate it, so if you leave a comment, I'd be, you know, helps me out, and I'll try to answer, <coughs> answer as many questions as possible. Crazy roosters. <laughs> all right, guys. I uh, will show you the nesting boxes and that are made today so <laughs> warmed up today it's almost 45 degrees out today and got the birds out flying and they're enjoying that Well guys, I want to show you what I'm up to today. Um, making breeding boxes for the uh, white dove release area. So as you can see here, I take a four by eight sheet of plywood and I rip it into thirds. So I have 16 inches. So, so I take and rip it down like this. And I already got uh, four, four sheets there and I need two more yet, so. Then I take that third piece and uh, rip it down 16 inches this way too. So, so the last sheet for the back side, I use actually use half inch. The, the other ones I used uh, five eighths. That's because at the time they didn't have any half inch except for one sheet, and uh, it was only a couple dollars more for the five eighths. So you decided to go with five eighths. But for the backing though, um, to put on the back side of the wall. I am, uh, I had to cut it, uh, instead of being 16 inches, I have 15 and 7 eighths, that way the, all three sheets are 15 and 7 eighths, and it's going to take me four sheets to make my breeding boxes, and, uh, I'll have three sets of breeding boxes that have four, um, nest boxes in each one, so, I figured kind of give you a little heads up, and I'll show you what I'm talking about more when it gets more assembling, so. All right, guys, here's what I was kind of talking about, how when uh, you go to put them together. These are the two pieces that will be top and bottom. This will be in the middle, and this is your backing. Okay, I always try to make sure everything lines up perfectly so you get it the right height. As you can see here, I'm just a hair, um, a little bit higher on this side, and uh, so that means the backing will be just a hair short, which is okay. You know, I'm all right with that. Because all everything matches up nice and you know you can't you won't see it once it's all put together so but i just kind of wanted to show you the difference why I, you know i cut this thing here so we had 16 inches across and we got 14 and 7 eighths to get there and then we'll have be eight foot wide we'll have four boxes in each one so that's kind of the game plan anyway so i'll show you again more when i get to put it together so well as you can see here i just kind of got it clamped Right now, the clamp to kind of hold it together before I put everything together and just to make sure everything all is set up nice. So, and uh, as you, I'm going to put the top on here and show you what I was talking about before. That way, if you know, if you're not quite right, you can always cut a little bit off before you start putting together because better measure everything first, you know, twice or sometimes three times just to make sure you got everything all set up. But if you don't do that, you know, Kind of hard to take it apart and put it back you know cut it down or it to go more my buy more material and i don't know about you guys but i can't afford to do all that extra work so so i always try to kind of cheat and put a put them together first yeah you know, with clamps and stuff like that just to make sure everything holds up nice so but i'll show you what the what the lid on top of it this is the inside of it and like i said just you know we got the backing we'll put that on top next and show you what that looks like so 
All right, guys, I just wanted to kind of show you what the top looks like on there. It's just sitting on there. There's nothing holding it on whatsoever so that I can lift it up if I wanted to right now. But uh, I just want to make sure everything matches up. So, you know, if we have this, we got a little bit overhang on the bottom and the top is, you know, hiding, you know, just a little bit, which I'm okay with, you know. So, the same thing on this side. See? You can see how much there's a little bit of overhang on it. There's a, yeah, underneath, so that's okay. You know, if you guys wanted to make it more perfect, we just cut this piece down just a hair more. It'll line up, and actually, I might do that just to, you know, save a little time. So, everything matches up nice and perfect, so. Well, guys, I ended up deciding to cut a little bit more off. Now it's actually lined up nice, nice and perfect. You know, both sides. Which is a good thing. I know it's, you know, everything's not perfect right now. I just said, I'm just kind of setting it on top. Making sure everything fits okay. And as you can see here too, you can see where here it's all we're hanging. You know, that's because there's nothing's holding that middle together whatsoever. You know, it's gonna happen that way, you guys. So it's just kind of a temporary thing to help hold it together and make sure everything fits like you want it to before you start putting it together. So it makes it a whole lot easier if you do that. So well guys, I wanted also to show you a little tr trick that I learned a long time ago as uh using spacers it's like this piece here is not permanently there as i just have it clamped it right there it helps keep everything lined up as you can see here there's a big old gap in here on both sides if you you know push it in here i use clamps in here to help pull everything together see now we got it all tight there slide this over there you go now we can just nail it together or screw it together or whatever you guys want to do so just kind of wanted to show you a little secret, you know, it works pretty slick for me, so like I said, I just uh, ended up, that way I have, this would be one box, and then we'll go to the next box, and the next one over there, so we'll have uh, four boxes in here, so that's the game plan. I also wanted to kind of give you a little helpful hint too, as you can see here, I only put one little tack here on each side for the metal piece here. Then I put use a chalk line and make it there. That way you can just follow the chalk line like this one here, staple it all the way up. Makes it a whole lot easier to, you know, how to try to guess. And if you do miss, I'll show you how to fix that. It's been known to happen or the piece of wood doesn't quite work right. So, but anyways, if something happens like that, I'll show you how that works too. All right, guys, I told you if you miss like I did here, it went in, but it, it didn't hit enough an angle to get, uh, come in, so it came out the side. So if it happens on the inside or the outside, I don't want the birds getting hurt either way. So I take in, I use a Dremel with a, a cutting blade on it. So I come in and just cut it off just a little bit above right where here. You're gonna make a little gouge in the wood, which, wood, which is okay. <laughs> see now there's nothing poking out birds can't get hurt and everything lined up nice and perfect in here right now so you can't beat that guys you got one down all done ready to go so and i imagine somebody's going to ask me what the dimensions are here so I'll give me a second and i'll give you a, a dimensions here well guys as you can see all four boxes are done for each, you know, each bird has plenty enough room for the birds to go in there and nest and uh, have a bowl in there. I can even have two bowls in there if I need to. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put nest fronts on them yet. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna do that. I have a couple ideas I wanna try, but um, I just, it's gonna take me time to build it. So that's the way right now, when it gets so dang cold out, I'm, I'm heck, having a hard time just getting this done here. So, and it's like, kind of sound a little funny cause I'm kind of sick, so, and, uh, it just probably shouldn't be out here yet doing this kind of stuff, but I'm out here, so, you know. But anyways, uh, inside dimensions here, we got 23 and a half by 14 and a half on the inside. But from the outside to the outside, you got 16 inches and two feet, so. So you got, you know, so basically you got plenty of room in there for the birds to get around and stuff like that. So 
when I get it said and done, I got one down, I got uh, two more to go, and we'll have plenty of places for them to uh, nest in, so. All right, guys, I'll show you uh, the young birds and what I've done down here so far. As you can see here, the uh, perches were here. Now I got my breeding boxes here. And the perches are all over there now. And all the young birds that are in here for right now. They are looking good. As you can see here, I got all the boxes set up and ready to go. And hopefully they uh, don't have one cock that likes to take them all, you know, a couple boxes. If that had happened before, so if they do that, I definitely gonna have to make nesting box fronts swarm. So, but I still plan on doing one, at least one more set of nesting boxes up there. That way, I'll have a total of 24 nesting boxes in this room, or say in this loft here. So, that's my game plan, anyway. So, uh, as you can see, they turned out pretty good. I did a base in the bottom to kind of help hold it, you know, hold them up, and I screwed them against the wall so they'd hold them up against the wall and. Should turn out pretty good. I like the way it turned out, guys. I hope you guys did too. So, as you can see here, all the young birds are doing a little good in here. I just I fed them here a little while ago. They got just a little bit left in here, not much, but uh, they're all looking good. These are guys, these are all these young birds here going down to a guy, or say two guys down in Missouri. So, Dan and John. So, here come them up and uh coming up soon to get them so figured they should show you what they look like so they do look really good they're all scared because i'm all i've been making all this noise in here moving them around and all that fun stuff so but droppings look good you can't even tell in here i cleaned up in here yesterday good gravy so but it's all good so please, I hope you guys liked the video today. So please like, share, and leave a comment below. And thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you give me a thumbs up or thumbs down, it don't matter to me. Um, it does help my channel either way. Um, I greatly appreciate all the feedback I can get. So, so you all have a great day. And thank you again for watching.